Ladies like and got... gentlemen, that was Reginald there, and I am joined here by Caddy. We are in the Solomid.net one versus one quarterfinals, game number two between Wings of Death and Don't Mash Me. Actually, they're very lined up this time, so no shake are going to be tricking me. It is going to be Caitlin and Urgot. We did have Wings of Death take game number one with a very convincing Nidalee performance. Right now, it's going to be Caitlin and Urgot. We do see a little bit of a, of a change-up. No, we don't see any change of actually to the summoner spells. We still have that smite and uh, smite and what is it? Teleport combo, and we still see the flash teleport on who is it? Don't mash me. So that's a very curious. I don't even think we saw a flash from Annie last game. Did we see a flash last game, Annie or yes. Caddy? Annie did have flash and had ignite. Um, last time you saw Annie lost her match pretty much because nearly had teleports. So. You know, now Don't Mash Me realizes Mystic is picking up teleports. Really vital now with the, you know, the new minions. It's so much easier to push a tower, and it's so much easier to take down a tower just with your champions alone. So I think throughout this 1v1, you're either going to be seeing very offensive with Exhaust Ignite, or they're going to have teleport and something else. Uh, okay, but did we see any actually use the flash last game? Uh, I didn't see the flash, no. I didn't see any flash as... Yeah, that's kind of what I I could I didn't see any either. So no flash this time, uh, but we are no we do sorry we still have the flash. Maybe with Urgot, of course, with his heat seeking missiles. Maybe maybe we're gonna see it. Don't mash me. Uh, it's a little out of position. He's out and about your jungle. Uh, I guess he's just looking around for Caitlyn to go off smiting for that uh, wraith. I mean that's what we did see last game, right? We she opened up killing that big wraith. Yeah, very much so, and uh, as you can see right there, Urgot just caught Caitlyn on a and he's chasing him down through the... This would be very interesting for a first kill. Whoa, we do have the net coming out for the first skill. Maybe uh, we had a little bit of a prediction here, but likely... Uh, she just didn't have a skill to begin with and just use that to get away. I'm very curious now, is she going to stick around in lane or is she just going to go back to town? Uh, she, yep, she chugged a potion and she's smiting the big blue wraith as she intended. So there you go. To predict so your go teammate. Don't mash me. Predicting very well. So what do we got for Caitlyn there, sir? Just a typical armor. We got, you know, the cloth armor and the health pots. Uh, does have a little bit extra damage. This looks like the same exact rune book that he was running for Nidalee. He's got the extra armor and extra magic resist, plus a little bit AD and armor... And, uh, you know, he knew he was facing an Urgot, so he picked up the armor. Look. All right, now on the flip side, let's just take a quick look at Urgot. He has a starting off with a Mechie Pendant. He's already had to chug a few of his health potions. Uh, well, he's already chugging one right now. Now, with the Urgot, of course, he wants to land uh, the Vile. He wants to land those heat-seeking uh, missiles because that's a huge amount of range that we can harass on. Caitlyn, of course, you know, the sniper hero, big range by herself. She's going to be using that to counter. Now, just take a quick look here. We have three extra attack on Urgot. No movement speed this round, so we do have a little bit of a swap up on the runes. Uh, attack speed is up a little bit. I don't see anything else uh, other than just that three damage and attack speed. So with the Mechie Pendant, wondering what that Urgot's going to be going. What do we normally see in an Urgot build here, Caddy? Well, you usually see, uh, you know, you'll have a generally just a regular armor pen in their books, and you'll see them build damage throughout the game. Uh, you know, I got someone whispering right now saying, you know, he's got armor pen, uh, 75 flat health, and 13 attack speed. Uh, sorry, 15 armor pen. So he's got some early game armor pen. Uh, just looking really to just damage as much as possible with his Qs. But, you know, he hasn't hit his... Uh he hasn't hit his noxious or his corrosive acid yet, so he's not getting any lock-ons on this Caitlyn, and she's just doing as she did before and just pushing down that. Well, it's not quite true. We did have one lockdown, but she used her net just to get out of that because it's not a good situation to stick around for those. So right now, let's take a quick look at the creep kills. 14 to 19, so both players trying to keep up very well. We do have a bit of an experience advantage with that smite on Wings of Death. He did get that level 2 very quickly. He is going to be a little bit in the lead uh, with that smite. And of course, we can always just smite out one of these uh, laning creeps for that extra push advantage. But Caitlyn, I mean, other than her auto attack, I don't think any of her skills will do anything to a tower. Nope. Her passive doesn't go off on towers, just creeps and champions. 
Well, with the good Caitlyn, she is going to use that uh, passive to you know, charge it up on the creeps and then land a good auto attack there on Don't Mash Me. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for that. Uh, basically, it's just going to be a little bit of back and forth at this point. So with that smite, I mean, she gives up... Uh, the, the Wings of Death gives up quite a bit of flexibility with the summoner spells with that smite. It is good for pushing and that extra burst off the bat, but, I mean, that's so much more you could have had there, like an Ignite or a Flash or even a Fortify. But I don't know, right now... Don't match me getting very low. And uh, what kind of mana regen do we have on Miss Caitlyn there? This just seems to be very slow. So nothing modified there at all. Do we know what Wings of Death is going to be running for runes at all? Do you have any insider there? Uh, no, but I should be getting some... It does look like, though, his mana gen is a little bit more so than... Earth, especially with that mechy... So you're saying she has at least 7 MP5 extra? I mean, because that's what this mech is giving uh, Don't Mash Me. Don't Mash Me is actually going to hit off to town. We're going to have to see what kind of pickup he wants to get. Expect a Teleport Inc. But level 6 now on Caitlyn. We have nothing actually to get in the way of uh, her ultimate, do we? Nope, just a one pit off. Pit. It's just a one v one, so you have nobody else stepping in unless we have Messiah coming down the lane or you coming down the lane to block that shot. Yeah, we're not going to be seeing that at all. So with Wings of Death now at level six, we just had Urgot hit six now as well. He could try to bait her into a tower range using a, that swap of his, but most likely, what do you think he's going to try here for a kill? Because we're going to have to see something fairly soon now that both players are six. Yeah, she's staying very offensive, as you saw. Every time he gets that lock on, she's just backing way out of range, so she doesn't, you know, she just doesn't take a lot of damage. Um, uh, you're, I'm probably exactly right. Or, uh, you know, don't mash me. He's gonna wait for Caitlyn to push and probably get, you know, as best a swap as he can. Is you know, make her run as far as distance as possible while doing damage if he. He's actually landing those uh, goos at a fairly decent pace right now. This is the first offensive action we've seen coming out from him. He's going to have an extra auto attack. Not likely to jump in right now, especially with the tower there. But, oh, just another auto attack to go there. We're probably going to be seeing her go back to town using that teleport and with a smite to the wraith, right? Uh, no, he did not smite the wraith. He's just taking a direct back, though. That would have probably been much wiser. So what did she pick up? Let's just take a quick look at Miss Caitlyn here. Again, going with the Riggles Lantern, a little bit of a mana potion going on as well. So, I mean, these skills, they do eat up a lot of her mana, despite having a little bit of what seems to be mana regeneration. Uh, she is going to go for that extra burst. So we might be seeing something very similar to last game, where she's just trying to try to clear the creep waves and then try a combo uh, with that mana potion on top of Urgot. Now, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Right now, 11 150 hit points uh, on Urgot, 1,000 on her, and right now, oh no, okay, well, he jumped in a little bit there, a little aggressive, she actually reacted there pretty defensively, jumping back with her net, now goes out the mana potion, very curious, I mean, that she brought it for a reason, I have to see, wonder what she's going to try to do here, I haven't seen any Yordle traps though, so likely not going to be going anything with that. Yep, she's not playing very defensively. She's being very aggressive, getting any pokes as she can on the champion, you know, pushing the creeps. She's auto-attacking the creeps, of course, but she's making sure she's getting as many last hits as possible. Um, I, you know, I can't see her um, her ultimate being too effective since Urgot's got the shit, and he actually can pull her out of the ultimate by using his ult, And then, you know, having it buff stats so that when they pit off, you know, Urgot's going to have the advantage. Hmm. Both players do have channeled ultimates if we do have the swap go down during the channeling of the snipe i think that should negate it by uh by logic means no confirmation not gonna shoot me down oh uh i believe it will just it will do it uh like the normal reset if you stop your own ultimate it will just put a four a seven second cooldown i believe is what it makes you sit through if you cancel your ultimate. All right, so there's absolutely nothing we can do to make it waste. We do have some shots going down right now on Urgot. He's going to have to back up, but the heat-seeking... What is it? I guess it's a claw? What do you call that thing? Missile? Projectile? Claw? Uh, oh, I can't remember. I don't play Urgot. 
I'm going to call it a claw then. It's going to be a claw from now on. I don't know. Both of them, uh, we're at almost the 9.5 minute mark. We haven't really seen too much go down. Very little tower damage this game compared to the last. I mean, we, the tower, our tower at least, is about 1,780 hit points. And I don't think we've really landed anything on yours. So, oh, AFK Morning of Death. Let's get rid of that. I don't know. Right now, it just looks like she's going to look for that long range snipe. There goes the ultimate. No, nope, that's not going to be enough to kill him. So maybe just going to be using that cooldown at this point. Don't mash me. He's probably going to have to go to town after this. As you saw, it probably looks like he's just waiting for his teleport before he goes back because if he leaves this tower, it's going to take, you know, substantial damage and she's just going to be able to keep pushing, you know, on. Well, at least we're seeing some tower damage now. Caitlyn didn't actually stick around for that fight, so she wasn't in landing any auto shots there. And don't mash me, he's still going to be sticking around. He has himself a Tears of the Goddess, so not too sure uh, when he picked up that. Probably when he back to town, but he's very mana dependent right now. I mean, with the Tears of the Goddess and nothing else, he doesn't even have boots. Uh, which is, well actually neither players have boots. The smite going down there from Wings of Death, looking at the creep score, 82 to 63, and that's uh, very indicative. Wings of Death definitely knows his last hitting abilities, and he does seem to have a good amount of mana regen. It is going at a decent rate, so I'm going to have to concede that one to you. And uh, I don't know when he wants to do it. We do have Urgot going back to town, so we could see some big damage coming out, and we'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, as I said before, uh you asked about the rune book, and uh, Caitlyn is using the same rune book as Nidalee, you know, some armor pen. Uh, she's got armor pen in the book, some extra armor, uh, some extra magic resist, and some extra... So, nothing out of the ordinary for that, so no extra mana, re uh, mana regen. Uh, maybe Urgot's mana regen just inherently sucks, which is why he went for that. He is back in town, let's see, he's picked himself up a mana immune, or a mana immune, depending on how you like to say it. He has himself some health potions again. Both players actively just not really caring about movement speed this game, and neither of them have a ghost. The only thing we do have is flash on Don't Mash Me, and in comparison, we've seen so many smites come out of uh, Wings of Death for a little bit of an advantage. We have yet to see a good flash scenario here for Don't Mash Me. And we're having Caitlyn return behind her. She's just going back to base. Well, the big crab himself is just going to be hanging out in the mid for a little bit then. And uh, just clean up some of these so, kills. Uh, same strategy as Nidalee this time on Caitlyn. He's looking to counter his enemy. He's purchased, you know, Taj boots with armor and some extra armor. So it looks like Wings of Death is just looking for a pushing game. He's just going to try to outpush Urga. Oh, it's going to be turning into a farming game. Whoever can get the first one there. Cloth armor. Oh, there we go. Got some boots. This could be it right now. We do have her still in range, but no, she's going to use that net to get away. Now it comes an ultimate. That's just going to be a little bit of spam. Going to bring him down a little bit to his level. Both players are going to be popping those health potions. And uh, right now we got a very flimsy wall in front of it. Don't mash me. So Wings of Death also going to be popping that mana potion, but with that extra armor and ninja tabby, the dodge might actually make a big difference uh, in this, in this uh, fight that to the finish so right now level 11 coming out and we have still yet to see don't match me use his ultimate or his flash that would probably would have been a good fighting scenario there but uh, very defensive play coming out of um, Caitlyn did see a smite come out there on top of that catapult. So it does not look like Wings of Death is really going to be paying attention to those wraiths anymore. Not really much of an advantage, but out goes the spam. Again, don't mash me. Going to be trying to keep her off this tower, but that catapult, I mean, that's going to be doing a lot of damage. You did reflect upon the new creeps. Uh, you know, the pushing system there is actually looking at the side lanes. It looks like this game's going to have to wrap up fairly soon because they're kind of pushing and counter-pushing. And... I don't know, it's not going to be quite as easy just to sit back and turtle anymore as uh, we've seen in the past. So we do got some spam going down on Wings of Death again, but it does look very reminiscent of the Nidalee game. Oh, gets off that. There we go, there's the swab. We're not going to be seeing her in tower range. Oh, sorry, we are going to be seeing her in tower range, but the tower's not actually going to care whatsoever. But the spam, oh! And there's the blood. Wow. 
There it is, 2-0, Wings of Death over Don't Mash. Looks like a very defensive game wins it for uh, Wings of Death for 2-0. Very healthy Wings of Death, like, almost took no... There's absolutely no spots in that game where he was close to being dead there. So, Wings of Death is going to move on. Who do we got up for the next game, sir? Uh, you'll have to give me a moment. Oh my god, his strategy is so lame. The only way, <laughs> the only way to be Wings of Death, the only way to be Wings of Death is people. People keep running escape abilities. This isn't an escape. Okay, when you play against a player, you play the matchup. You don't play the play. It's not 1v1 normally. Like, they keep going flash. It's not going to work. Don't match me could have actually won the game when he brought Kaylin down to 300 HP. It was really obvious that she was going to net back. He could have altered hit. He could have altered um, Kaylin mid animation with the net, and that would have been game because she has no escape. So it was 300 HP, two auto attacks, one Q. She's dead. So there's just too many mistakes. Like when when basically Wings of Death is going the really safe route where he could make mistakes, and if the, if the other opponent doesn't catch on, he's gonna win the game. He's going with the slow, long paced game. So if people want to win, they either have to play the same game. Or they have to go ignite exhaust and try to just beat him early.